Continuing our coverage now as friends and family of murder victim Henry Kim mourn the loss of their loved one, they are still praying for answers. Tonight, a man who had been friends with Kim for more than 30 years is speaking out. He talked to RTV6's Julie Persley about the crime and the shock they are feeling after learning the age of the accused killer. 76-year-old Charles Che says he and Henry Kim had been friends for more than three decades. They went to church together for years and were golfing buddies. Healthy man all of a sudden didn't return home. So sad. Che tells us he couldn't believe it when he got the news that Kim had been murdered Saturday night while on his daily walk near his home in Fishers. I still couldn't believe a 17 years old boy, what state of mind the shooting 73 years old man three times and cutting the throat. I cannot imagine what kind of a mind that he was doing such a horrible things. Jess says Kim was a hard-working man, husband, father, and grandfather. Someone that was fun-loving and brought joy to others' lives. He's a good-looking guy, and uh, he sings, he loved to sing. So when a vocation, he hold the microphone, karaoke, he sings, do you all you well. Now, Chess says he not only is praying for his dear friend's family as they mourn, but also for the family of accused killer, 17-year-old Maxwell Winkler. Their son's life is ruined, but also Kim's family life is ruined also. Chair says a visitation and funeral service for Henry Kim will be held tomorrow evening for his family and friends. From Noblesville, Julie Persley, RTV6. Kim and his wife were retired. People in the community may remember him because he and his wife owned a Baskin Robbins ice cream store for a few years at 86th and Ditch.